Well, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Well, this here is a snowflake, or at least a part of a snowflake. It's frozen water, an ice crystal. And today in this video, I would like uh, to show you how you can also put snowflakes under your microscope without having to take your microscope out into the cold or snow into your home. There is actually a little trick uh, that I would like uh, to share with you today. And then you're able to see those uh, beautiful structures. Well, in many cases, snowflakes are hexagonal. They have six sides uh, but there are many other structures uh, that are also found um, this one over here is also uh, quite uh, quite nice but I think it already started to melt a little bit so it looked a little bit deformed the trick is nitrocellulose also more commonly known as a clear nail polish I'm just uh, showing you how it actually is normally should be used but I am using it uh, today to actually cover a microscope slide a glass slide with a thin layer um, of uh, nail polish uh, it's important both the slide and the nail polish have to be pretty cold so I left them out for a few hours so that they are able to cool down you can also put them of course into your freezer and then I took the slide and I simply started to, to collect snowflakes the snowflakes were falling on the slide into the nail polish and what's going to happen is, is that they're going to leave their impression in the nail polish and this is actually the nail polish the impressions that the snowflakes left behind that is the thing that I'm going to be looking at um, under the microscope so you'll see actually I'm making a permanent slide of snowflakes that's actually quite something new I uh, decided simply to place it <laughs> on the floor well I made a total of six slides um, and you can still see that uh, there is still some actually nail polish on here because the snow is already gone it melted and evaporated and those white structures that you see these are the impressions that the snow left behind um, in the nail polish um, of course uh, not all crystals look very nice the majority of them you know, there were air bubbles um, and it kind of looked a little bit irregular I think the snow melted and then refroze again that's why I'm not seeing a very nice structures in most of the cases but occasionally I do see a hexagonal, a six shaped snowflake. And sometimes I also saw some of these parts uh, of the snowflakes. Now, if you're kind of wondering a little bit about the colors, this is because um, I used polarized light to look um, at the snowflakes and I was actually rotating the polarization filters. But you can actually use a, just a regular compound microscope as well. And of course, also a stereo microscope because those snowflakes are relatively large and, and uh, I used uh, low magnification, so I usually used the four times or ten times uh, magnifying objective so they're actually quite uh, quite easy to see uh, possibly even with uh, magnifying glasses but under the microscope of course they look much much nicer well of course uh, it's not always snowing so at the very beginning I tried to make my own snow um, but I was not very successful with that so I had to wait a little bit it started to snow I quickly caught the snow on those six slides that I showed you before and, and I was able to find around three or four of those hex of those hexagonal snowflakes unfortunately not more I wanted to show more you more and I wanted to make more but unfortunately it stopped snowing and so maybe you're going to be a little bit uh, more lucky but at least it shows uh, you that the principle actually works now I did have to experiment a little bit uh, around uh, because uh, what is important is, is that the thickness of the nail polish be right if it's too thick then the snow is going to sink into the nail polish and it's going to disappear and it's not going to leave behind a nice impression on, on the surface and uh, so what I found the useful is uh, to allow the nail polish to dry a little bit so that it forms a slightly harder um, surface and then the snow is not able to sink into it or you can also try to apply a very thin layer but of course you have to uh, get the right uh, compromise here because if it's too thin then it's going to dry very quickly as well so a little bit of experimentation always works and uh, yeah as a matter of fact I made several slides to find a few of those nice uh, nice, nice structures I think this is a very children friendly activity as well uh, because it's easy to do and uh, because you do not need very advanced equipment uh, to actually look at those uh, snowflakes and maybe you're going to be a little bit luckier with uh, and able to find some nicer structures so I expect you maybe um, to also so go online into social media to pour, post your pictures and to share your pictures. Well, um, I think what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to simply leave you alone with those nice pictures. I would like to thank, of course, all of my supporters um, of this channel. I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel as well, of course. Um, yeah, and uh, happy microbe hunting is not really the correct <laughs> goodbye here. I have to say happy snowflake hunting and see you around next time. Bye-bye.